The United States has imposed sanctions on several individuals and entities linked to the Lebanese resistance movement Hezbollah and Iran. U.S. Treasury Department said it is designating Lebanon and Kuwait-based financial conduits which fund Hezbollah. It also targeted alleged financial facilitators and front companies which support the resistance group and the Quds Force of Iran's Islamic Revolution Guards Corps. Hong Kong-based companies and individuals residing in China were among those sanctioned. U.S. deems Hezbollah a terrorist group. It sanctions several Hezbollah members, including its leader and deputy leader. Hezbollah chief Sayyid Hassan Nasrullah has dismissed the sanctions, saying U.S. will not be able to harm the resistance. Joining us now from Los Angeles, California, is Ramiro Fuenas, journalist and commentator. Hello, Ramiro. Always a pleasure to have you on Press TV. Sanctions seems like there is never an end to this tool that the U.S. uses. Your thoughts? I think the sanctions are extremely contradictory for two reasons. One, it exposes the myth that the United States promotes the free market, promotes the free market individual promotes liberty and freedom and individuality because the United States accuses other countries of being totalitarian, being dictatorial. It claims that Iran and China and Russia and Venezuela are restricting their people from doing what they want. And yet when those countries don't adopt their economic policies, they move forward with sanctions, which are extremely restrictive, harmful policies that harm not only people in Lebanon, Iran, but all over the world, preventing working class poor people from accessing medicine and food. So on the one hand, it shows the hypocrisy of so-called free market capitalism. Secondly, Hezbollah and the Lebanese resistance is by no means a terrorist group. In fact, Hezbollah and Iran have been at the forefront of defeating the real terrorists in the re in the region of the Middle East, uh, ISIS, uh, Daesh, U United States, Israel. These are the real terroristic forces in the Middle East. And this is why in Lebanon, in Iraq, in Yemen, in, in Iran, the anti-imperialist resistance has been growing, the axis of resistance. And these are the brave men and women who have been on the front lines against the real terrorists who have been spreading chaos and extremism in the region. And this is pure hypocrisy because Hezbollah, Iran, Daesh, uh, excuse me, uh, Iran, uh, Hezbollah and, and the Lebanese resistance, they have a common enemy with the U.S., which is terrorism, which is extremism. And to brand Hezbollah as a terrorist group to sanction individuals for supporting a heroic anti-imperialist struggle is just pure hypocrisy. So I think on many fronts, this just represents the overall double standards of U.S. empire. And, and Ramiro, if, if you notice it, I mean, Hezbollah is a, is a resistance group. It, uh, you know, if, if for the most part, if you notice, it's never attacking Israel, it's, but it, its existence, being next door, it's kept Israel in check, if not God knows how much uh, land is Israel would have probably annexed both more land from the Palestinians, possibly into Lebanon, possibly more into Syria. So really, Hezbollah is not a threat per se to the Israelis, as much as the Israelis are to the region. And Hezbollah has just been there as a presence to keep Tel Aviv in check. So what does the U.S. have to do or why is it going after Hezbollah with such uh, fierceness? That's exactly right. We have two groups. Hezbollah is the party of God, a group that represents the most oppressed and marginalized. And we know that across the Middle East and Lebanon and Iraq, all over the region, there are millions of people who live in poverty, who want to believe in a higher being and a higher creator that accepts everybody, that promotes egalitarianism and brotherhood and anti-imperialism. And that message is very popular with the masses of the Middle East, and which is why there's so much growing support for Hezbollah, for Iran, for the Ansar Allah movement in Yemen as well. Meanwhile, you have Israel and Zionism, which promotes this vicious, uh, diabolical ideology that a certain group of people are superior to others, and that if you're not a certain group, that you're inferior, that you're animals. The way that the Zionists treat the Palestinians, the way they speak about Muslims and Arabs is really disgusting. And that is completely in favor of Western capitalism, of chauvinism, of imperialism, which is why the Western powers prop up Israel, because it serves their free market purposes. And it is afraid of genuine revolutionary movements like 
like uh, Hezbollah, like Iran, like Ansarullah, because these messages, these groups appeal to the masses of the people against tyranny and exploitation. All right, but stay safe. Always a pleasure to check in with you from Los Angeles, California. Ramirio Fuenes, join us.